got baseball for you from guaranteed rate field on the south side of Chicago tonight it's the home opener for this new season between the San Diego Padres and the Chicago White Sox White Sox baseball is next. I'm a selfish man. That's just waiting. And stepping in Jorge Mateo and we are set for baseball here this evening. First delivery to him. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Seven o'clock. One and one to San Diego's leadoff batter. A little chilly but not unbearable tonight. 55 degrees here at first pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Center fielder looking up at the track. The wall gone to lead off the inning. Batting second, the first baseman, number nine. And at the Jay plate is Jake Cronenworth. Cronenworth. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Ball hit right back at him. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. So one down, no one aboard. And up steps the, the big side. bat of Fernando, Fernando Tatis, Tatis Jr. Jr. Here it comes. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. Racing back the left fielder. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. That is four. The third base, number 13. Here's Manny, Manny Machado now. Machado. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Great job of changing speeds there. It's 0 and 2. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field. Engel is back to the warning track, and he's That's able to it. put it away the for right the second out. The so next to hit is Will Myers. Here's the first pitch. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Robert gets there for the catch and that ends the inning. And that'll bring up the shortstop Tim Anderson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not shortstop. Tim. Here it comes. Anderson. He's ready. Here's the 01. Snell is kind of an interesting guy when you dig into his starting pitching tendencies. As starters go, he does a nice job of limiting base hits, but what's proven to give him trouble at times is the walk. He tends to issue a lot of free passes, more than you'd like to see. That's an interesting note, Batty B. And I think one of the things that he doesn't give himself enough credit for, when he falls behind in the count, two and one, three and one, he's the kind of guy that's just not going to lay one in there and let you whack it. He'd rather start with a fresh count to a new batter. So I wouldn't that look at that as a negative. He just isn't game. the kind of guy that's Go real on. aggressive when he falls behind Ball. in the count. Oh, no. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. One and oh, the count. Has a look, now the pitch. 
Anderson on at first nobody out. Throw over to the bag but he's safe at first as he gets back in time. He's set here comes the one one and that change up makes him jump a swing and a miss. And it's fouled away. Now a move over to first and he's safe. Nobody out runner on first. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. That is Up good. next for Chicago, Elo Jimenez. First oh chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Runner at first here, one man out. Strike two. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Lifted down the line in left. And foul. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. So here's Batting the cleanup four. hitter, Yosmani Grandal, as the Get switch money. hitter will bat right handed here. Grandal. Much better hitter swinging right handed for whatever it is. His entire career, he's hit much better against left handed pitching than he has against right. This is definitely his more comfortable side. Now here's the first offering. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Line but speared on a hop. There's Frazier at second for the out and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway and standing in is the veteran outfielder Tommy Pham. For me this is an important add on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it but keeping the pressure on building that lead. That's how you bury someone. One ball no strikes the count. Hit back up the middle and that's a base hit so the pressure is on to open up the inning. So here's Adam Frazier, and he puts it on the ground to second, fielded by a door. The second for one to Abreu for the big double play. So base is empty now after the double play, and now it'll be the catcher, Austin Nova. First pitch of the AB now. As he'll watch a curveball that bends in there under his hands at strike one. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. He's got it. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and one of the more prolific RBI men the in the league stop. the last few years, the Jose Abreu, will bat next. Okay. First pitch of the AB on its way. 
Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. A ball and a strike now to Jose Abreu. Fouled away. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. A bouncer up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Batting fit. The seven field. Louis. Rubber. The next batter will be Luis Robert as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. And this is lifted in the air out to left. Left fielder coming in. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Into the box, Clint Frazier. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Great girl. As a look, now the pitch. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. And here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses 1-2 and two now. Stole cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Two down with a runner at first, that and that'll bring up the, the second, second baseman, baseman. Rugnit Odor. Oh, He's set and the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Well, that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, six inches. Swung on and missed that strike two. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Batting done. Digging in will be Adam Engel. Engel. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. And he'll try to hold back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. And the hit will be Trent Grisham. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Number two, Trent. First delivery to him. And he fouls this one off. One and one. And that's taken up and in for ball two. The 2 1 home.
Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes the center fielder. He can't get to it. This one's down. Stepping in now, Jorge Mateo, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Swing and a line drive, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. 0 oh 2, here it comes. Strike called, now the throw down. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. So here is Jake Cronenworth. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. From the stretch. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Anderson backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. Well, Maddie, we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that home run in the previous at bat. You do not come off the heater. Have to be leery of the off speed, but stay on the fastball. He's got to throw it again. No balls in one strike. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. And check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three and the inning is over. Back to the top of the order now, and up next it will be Tim Tim Anderson. Not shortstop. Tim. First offering Anderson. on its way. Gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And one away now here in the Chicago third. One out here in the Shy Sox third. And that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Yohan Moncada. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Here comes the 1 0. Popped up. Cronenworth has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. So two now out, that. nobody on. No and up you. next, the exciting oh Eloy Jimenez. First offering on its way. Hey, a two out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Two balls and no strikes to the White Sox left fielder. Two out, nobody on. Fouled off. The slider is laid off on the inside as it just misses the zone. A 3 1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. Fly ball out toward left center field. Fam gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. And in steps Manny Machado as we begin the top of the fourth. The third baseman, number 14, Manny. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. 
throw to first, but he's safe. And now the stadium's attention turns back to the man on the mound. Here's Will Myers. Drives it out to deep right center field. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Now batting the left fielder, Tommy Payne. Into the box now, Tommy Pham, as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0 and 1. One for one with a single so far. Boy, that's just about in the catcher's glove there. It's 0 and 2. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. A ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one two. Grounded back up the middle. Throw to first is in time but meanwhile the runner is in to score. Stepping in once again is Adam Frazier. The potential second run of the inning stands at third. Set here it comes. Little chopper back to the mound. And there's out number two. That'll bring up Austin Nola. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Austin Nola. First offering. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Myers at third with two away. Push softly over toward the right side. Uh, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that will bring up Yosemite Grandal. The catcher, Yosemite. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And a layoff fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. The 1 1 home. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Popped him up. Cronenworth is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So here's Jose Abreu. The first baseman, Jose Abreu. First pitch on its way. Unable to find the zone with the slider. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. A ball and a strike. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. Count is one and two now. And that misses two and two. 
The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. The batter will now be Luis Robert. He is 0 for 1 thus far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner. Grisham makes the catch to end the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that brings up Trent Grisham. The center fielder, number two, Trent. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. With that, the inning opens with the Padres getting their leadoff men on base. Now that designated hit for a Mateo. Into the box. Jorge Mateo. He's running. Hit back toward the mound. Step on the back for one to Abreu for the big double play. Now it'll be Jake Cronenworth. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First offering. We've seen this before fastballs in then breaking balls away that's been his plan of attack throughout the first half of this game a ball and two strikes the count now with the bases empty and two away started to chase there they'll appeal it down to third and no swing it's ball two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Ball three. Three and two now. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. The shortstop. Fernando Cody Hoyer, the 6'5 right hander, takes over on the mound. Now pitching for the White Sox. Number 12, Cody Hoyer. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Oh, and that ball's absolutely crushed down the line. Forget about it. That's going to stay fair and make it back to back home runs. Now back. So now to the plate, Manny, Manny Machado. Machado. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. That one will get out of play and the count evens up at one and one. Pitch on the way. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. A good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Hot shot down the line. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Now that the right fielder will Myers. So here's Will Myers. Pitch is way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Machado stands at second with two gone. That's by him for strike one. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. 
He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. A one and two count to Will Myers. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Ani pops it up. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's a 6 nothing ball game. Now batting, the left fielder. Tommy. At the plate now, Tommy Pham. As he can't make contact and is tied up here at strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Pham with an even one and one count now. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. A ball and two strikes. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. He'll try again, one, two. Misses, ball two. Three runs already home here. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder giving chase, but this will land untouched. Line drive, base hit down the line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Up next to the Harvard, the second baseman, Adam. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. As he'll lift it up in the air, this is back behind second. That gets down as one run is in. Now batting, catcher, Austin Nola. To the plate now, Austin Nola, as he'll take a look at a sinker here too low for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Popped him up. Anderson over to his right, and he makes the play to end the inning. <laughs> Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and digging in is the outfielder, Clint Frazier. The designated hitter, Clint Frazier. First delivery to him. As he'll chase one up around the letters here for strike one. Hey, I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack and make this pitcher come in the middle of the plate. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. And he's retired here, one away. Now to the plate, now here is Ruben Odor. He drew a base on Ruben. balls his first time up. Oh, and the pitch. Nope. Now this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. 2 and 0 oh now. Now the pitch. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he'll reach second now with one away. Up next to the right side, the right fielder, Nada Angle. Mason Thompson, the tall right handed reliever, takes over pitching duties out of the bullpen now. 
accomplice. Stepping in now, Adam Engel. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Engel is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball, given the position he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. He's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. Again, another foul ball. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. The batter number seven. So the batting order Shortstop. turns over now and set Here. to go. Tim Anderson, Anderson one for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. Getting a few steps oh, off a second there now the pitch. One and oh pitch on the way. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. And now, Trent Grisham singled in his last at bat. Now here it comes. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's one and oh. There's a change up taken but it finds the zone on the inside. And it's fouled away. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Lifted the other way to left center. And he will get there to make the running catch as that ball hung up just a little bit too long. Up next, Jorge Mateo. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Line towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The first baseman ever done, Jake. Standing in now, Jake Cronenworth. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hit hard on the ground at first. And that gets through for a one out base hit. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Now that Fernando Tatis Jr. In now, Fernando Tatis Jr. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Hit sharply on the ground, and that's through for a base hit. The run scores from second, make it 9 0. Now that third base, Manny. Jose Ruiz gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Jose 
Rui. So now to the plate, Manny Machado, as he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Ruiz, just 24 years of age, he throws a four seam fastball, a curve, a changeup, and a two seam fastball. A ball and a strike now to Machado. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. 1 and 2. Cronenworth at second. Tatis at first. One gone. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to 2 and 2. From the belt, kicks and deals. Back up the middle. Odor has it. There's one on the first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. So here's Yuan Moncada, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Leading up for the White Sox, the third baseman, Yoan. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half, it's strike one. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now batting. Left so now here is Elo oh, Jimenez. It's been an 0 for 2 Jimenez. effort for him to this point. Out in front of it, strike one. One out, nobody on. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. Throw on to first, two gone. Now Here's the it. catcher, catcher. Yasmani Grandon. Yep, he started out the evening 0 for 2 Run. so far. Oh. First offering on its way. Off the plate, ball one. He may be down 2 and 0 oh after those first two pitches in this AB, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. Tries to uppercut that thing, but missed it 2 and 1. Down the right field line. That's going to be down for a base hit, possibly more than that. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he'll settle for a single here as they whip it back in quickly. Now back, the first baseman, Jose Abreu. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu now. No balls and a strike to count. Ball one. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Back goes Grisham. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. And that ends the inning. Now into the box. Will Myers. So far, two for three in this one. The right fielder will. And now the first pitch. Ball 
the 1-0. Everything this guy throws moves. And that two-seamer has a mind of its own. Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. In the dirt. It's 3-0 now. Tommy Pham waits on deck. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Now batting. Stepping Left in field. next, Tommy Pham. Tommy. He doubled his Pham. last time up. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Comes set and the 0-1. Hard hit towards center. Robert is right there, one down. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. But it's backed up well, so luckily there will be no advance. Up next to the Padre. Next, it'll be Adam base. Frazier. He's Adam. got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. The door towards second. He's got it. On to first, and it's another double play. The fourth they've hit into tonight. My word. And that one ends the inning. Last half of the seventh here, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Luis Rubber. Luis Rubber. Now here's the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Myers is under it. One out. At the plate now, now is that, Clint Frazier. He comes in 0 for 2 Clint. thus far. Frazier. Miguel Sano will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact Number with one away. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Bases are empty. One man out. Two balls and no strikes to Miguel Sano. Slider and this is hit on the ground out to short. On to first, and there are two down. So two away here is the Sox the bat in the seventh, base. and that'll bring okay. up the second baseman, Rupnit Odor. Oh, first pitch of the A.B. now. Strike one to start the at-bat. The wind-up and the 0-1. Lifted down the line in left. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. I got my blessing to get the blessing for the bread tray. The bread tray. Bread tray. The bread tray. So now to the plate, Austin Nola. He'll start us Beating off in the eighth. The, Padre, the catcher, Austin Nola. Here's the first pitch. This is flared out towards second, and this is taken for the out. Next here is Trent Grisham. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. One out, nobody on. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. 
Next to the plate for the Padres, Jorge Mateo. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. From the stretch, here's the pitch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Just a bit late and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. This is foul right side. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pitch is popped up. Anderson is under it. No problem with this one and the inning is over. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and up next one of the best defensive center fielders in the league Adam Engel. Adam Engel. Austin Adams is on to pitch out now of the bullpen in the bottom the half of the eighth. Number 54, Austin Adams. First offering on its way. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. To short. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Back to the top of the White Sox the lineup now seven. and stepping in. Tim Good Anderson stop. flew out Here. last time up. Anderson. Now the pitch. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1 0. Oh. Adams, a native Floridian. He throws a slider, a four seam fastball, and a two seam fastball. Throw in time at first for out number two. Next to dig in, Yohan Moncada. He could really use a knock Yohan. here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Two out, nobody on. Now here's a swing and a ground ball for Frazier at second. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Now at the plate, Jake Cronenworth. He went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point. The first baseman, number nine, Jake Cronenworth. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing and one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing and two count and the pitch. Line drive to left. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Now that Fernando Tatis Jr. At the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Fouled away. On the ground is short. This could be two. Odor on to first, and would you believe it? The fifth double play they've hit into so far. Wow, two gone. And it'll be the cleanup spot for the Padres. Manny Machado, he was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Matty. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. Ball 
set for the bottom of the ninth. And next, the Liga dangerous the power White threat, Sox. Eloy Jimenez. The left fielder. Oh, Lord. Here's Johnson, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Now pitching for the Padre. Number 36, Pierce Johnson. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Here's the pitch. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. The 0 2 delivery popped up. Tatis waits on it, makes the play one away. Next will be the cleanup batter, Yosmani Grandal. He's working on a one for three thus far. Grandal. First pitch of the AB on its way. And he runs it in on him and gets him to swing through it for strike one. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Pham is there and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone here in the ninth. Ready now for the White Sox. Jose Abreu. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost Matty almost went deep his last AB certainly just missed it with this guy's big power. He's feeling pretty good and he'll put this one away and with that the ball game is over a nine nothing shutout final in this ball game. The, the San